This video will focus on adding three add-ins by making a 10 first. Now back in kindergarten and even this year in first grade, you've worked on add-ins that make 10. And you've realized that four plus six will make 10, two plus eight, nine plus one, five plus five, and three plus seven. But what we're now going to do is we're going to look at adding three numbers together, three add-ins, and we're going to try to look to see what numbers can make 10 first. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to go through two examples with you. So here you can see we have 2 plus 7 plus 3, which is an add-in plus an add-in plus an add-in, which will give us our sum. So I'm looking at the numbers and I'm trying to decide what I can add together to make a 10 first. Do I even see something that will give me a 10? Well, I can see that seven plus three will give me 10. So I know that seven plus three will equal 10. All right, so now I have added two of my add-ins together, but I still have a third add-in I need to add. So now I'm going to add 2 plus, or sorry, the 10 plus the 2, which will then give me 10, 11, 12. So 2 plus 7 plus 3 will actually give me a sum of 12. And let me check. First of all, remember, I was looking to see, can I group numbers together to make a 10? I know that two and seven won't give me 10. I know that two and three will not give me 10, but I do know that seven and three give me 10. So I added seven plus three first, so I get a sum of 10. Now I've only added two of my add-ins. I still have to add my third one. So then I say 10, I take the 10 plus the two to give me 12. All right, let's look at another one. Now remember, just because it's written this way, um, don't let that trick you, it's okay. You can rewrite it if you need to and write four plus seven plus six equals and put the blank over here if that, if that bothers you. But remember, it's just saying that whatever is on this side is equal to or is the same as whatever is on this side, okay? So just like before, remember our focus today is being able to add three add-ins by finding numbers that will add up to give us 10. So I start looking at my numbers here and I start thinking that I know four and seven will not give me 10, seven and six will not give me 10, but I do know that four and six will give me 10. So four plus six equals 10, okay? Now I'm not done because I've only added two add-ins. I've got another one to add on. So now I'm gonna take the 10 plus the seven here and that will give me 17. 10 plus seven is 17. So 17 is equal to, or is the same as four plus seven plus six. Now, once again, our goal was to look at three numbers that we're adding and see if I can find numbers that will make 10. I checked them out, four and seven didn't work, seven plus six did not work, but four and six will make a 10. So I added four plus six, I got 10 as my sum. I added 10 plus the seven, because remember, I had only added two add-ins, I've gotta add the third one in. 10 plus seven equals 17. So 17 is my sum. All right, you are now going to get to practice some of this. There is some online practice that just focuses on adding two numbers to make 10, just to kind of refresh your mind so you can spot those easier within uh, your three add-ins. Then you can also practice them on paper and pencil, and we have some online manipulatives uh, that you can use. Remember, the day's goal is to be able to add three add-ins by making a 10 first. Good luck!